Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror PSA presented by Scary Nerd, and as always, we are your hosts. I'm Paul. I'm Saul. And I'm Angie. The following is a public service announcement. A horrible massacre strikes up after an outcast teenage girl is taunted by a group of high school jocks, all of them unaware of her cutthroat telekinetic powers. We watched The Rage Carry 2 from 1999, and oh my god, does this not... This is just, I want to say this is the grossest thing probably, but this whole movie is like 90s afterbirth, like just mm. spewed out everywhere yeah. into yeah. this whole fucking movie. Yeah. Well, see, I was thinking it was like what drips down the legs afterwards. <laughs> that's that's part of afterbirth, right? Yeah. Well, I, I didn't mean so. in birth. It's that bad. It's that cringy. And oh, oh the dialogue. <laughs> Okay, it I don't. Reeks, okay, I, I do want to say something. 90s. It did. It so did. I do want to say something about this movie before we get started because there is a piece in the IMDb trivia that says the. Uh, I, I don't know if the lady that directed it also wrote it or not, but in the beginning, the movie was supposed to be nothing to do with Carrie at all. But the story yeah, was that. a little bit similar. So producers or somebody is like, oh, let's just package it as a sequel. We'll change some more and add it. So again, this is why you have those. In case you don't remember, this is a sequel to the 1976 Brian De Palma film. So yeah, they, they just, have those flashback scenes. They just literally to just you. like cut in Carrie. <laughs> Seriously. Like, <laughs> just, just cut yeah. in scenes from Carrie. Well, they, That's they, all it was. They had apparently offered Sissy's Basic a cameo, but she didn't want to do it. and But she did allow them to use the, yeah. the clips or whatever she Well, used. I mean, how would she even make a cam- Carrie's dead? So I yeah. don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense. Well, but this movie it took me a little bit out of it though too. Was when they did the the throwbacks, those little flashback things on it. It took me a little out of it just because it just seemed out of place. We know that this is a sequel. I I just don't get why they did those flashbacks. Yeah, and it was almost like they were trying to put too much to make you remember. It's like we get it, guys. It's Carrie. Yeah. Like, we can't we can't <laughs> let you go too far without reminding you. This is Carrie. Two. We understand that this is the sequel. We've got it now. You don't have to keep drilling it into our brains. Okay, I'm going to say this right now though. I want a movie or a story about Ralph White, this traveling right? preacher that just knocks no. out chicks oh, and you know I just have, has babies in this one I fucking have town. Notes apparently. about like, that guy. He's got a fucking type. The frizzy yeah. hair religio mm-hmm. chicks hey, who are a little crazy. I'm, I'm, he's a Bible salesman <laughs> or a preacher or something. I'm he's telling you, something. He finds him. Yeah, and he's traveling around, just spreading yeah. that fucking telekinetic seed yeah, everywhere through this small have, Midwest town. I mean, Jesus. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Stick around. You could, uh, you know, harness this power for. You know, imagine the the televangelism you could do if you had a telekinetic daughter that was like, I moved <laughs> oh, this shit around. Seriously, like, you could just create your own miracle. No, right? it, would, it would be like the frighteners. Like he could clean your house, oh, and it would just be the daughter yes. doing everything. Right? Like yeah. this would be all. Oh, this is yeah. the movie we need to make. All right, we, <laughs> it's a comedy. Oh. Sorry, I can't, I can't help myself. Uh, yeah. This movie, though, the, the star of this movie is a dog named Walter, though. Cause that dog I is cute as fuck. I feel bad for that poor dog. I know he gets run over. You see it, and he's just like barreling you know, that's under not the really car. Walter I know. That I was know. Like, Matt, that was like a was two by four could, with a blanket on top. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you could you could totally see that poor scene coming because you see him run out and like, oh no, like no, please don't tell me you're gonna do this. Kim was sitting there. She's like, "Tell me when this scene is over because <laughs> I don't want to see this." And I'm like, "No, poor dog, do not run, no." Like he avoided one car, he avoided two cars, and then got hit by the third. I'm like, son of a bitch. Like, I hate this movie now. Like, I don't <laughs> want to like, see a okay. poor dog get run over. Like, I get maybe the second car, like the lady, you know, after the dog got hit or whatever, that lady didn't stop or whatever. But I'm like, the guy that's pulling like the, the truck with the fucking pigs and all that. I'm like, right, you clearly saw you hit that. I'm dog. like, you, if you were going to slow down for the dog, why not stop afterwards? I'm <sighs> like, otherwise, just keep yeah. going and pretend you didn't know. That's That's the rule. Well, maybe it was that's Ralph, and he's like, "Shit, I think that's one of my kids. I gotta keep going." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he the can't run thing, into any of his kids. The one thing that Kim did point out, though, is when they took the poor dog to the what is it, twenty-four hour vet or whatever it was. Yeah, they're waiting in the waiting room, and they're looking and seeing at every single thing that they're doing to that dog. Like, why would you put? The waiting room right there next to the operating, <laughs> the operating room. room. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about that scene for a minute. Because I was like, why Why is there a need for the 24-hour vet in this? I'm like, how many 
animal emergencies do you have in this fucking town? Like, is this the pet cemetery it town? It could be basically? that pet cemetery town. <laughs> like, that's and the it's road, just that basically. road. They, they live on down the street from Yeah, uh, the from trucks the apparently are back on that road since, you know, the 90s is, when no, Pet Cemetery th- 2 was there. They wasn't there happened. anymore. No, this is what <laughs> happened. <came> back. <laughs> down the road, they put those speed bumps in in front of old tree uh, house that we talked yeah. about. Uh, so now mm-hmm. this is after the speed bump and you go around and now everyone just speeds up. Now it just it's speeds just right made, there. You just Got shifted it. the problem, mm-hmm. morons. Mm-hmm. Like, Oh, you want okay, to talk wait, about no. some problems? No, I want to talk about the vet scene real quick. <laughs> okay, let's, go let's, ahead. Let's, let's get back into the vet scene because I'm like, we got lots of problems. Because I'm like, okay. this yeah. th- this veterinarian lady, I'm like, you seem she's a little shady to me. Like there was a whole thing where I was like, I made a whole backstory in my head. I'm like, she's <laughs> not she's not really a vet. Like she, this is like a front for like you know the mob doctor. It's like I go to the 24 hour vet clinic. Like, uh, okay, like why? She's like, the the C-list like she's actually, doctor that yeah, like gives she's them actual, the scripts and shit. She's actually like a person doctor, you know, like, and mm-hmm. she's like, I don't know shit yeah. about veterans. That's why she's like, come back after eight tomorrow. He tore some vets. artery? That sounds about right. Yeah, and I'm like, he tore an artery? Like, is that even fucking, po-? like, she tore an artery in his, like, in his butt or something. It wouldn't have bled out like, by the time they got yeah, there. Yeah, like, like, if you tear an that. artery and you're not clogging that shit up, you bleed out qu- pretty quickly, I, know, I would she, imagine. She did have blood on her, but it was not that much yeah. blood to wear, like, a fucking artery yeah. or something. But I love Walter he was the real MVP of this he movie, was. though, because even like in the the trauma scene where she's like freaking out, like stop! Like he just sitting there, no fucks. I know. Commas can be like, all right, let's get this over. He's with. just so cute. <laughs> Make it happen, baby. Mm, but uh, that's Walter. So let's get into the the gross, gross, gross humans in this film, because everybody in this film is a piece of shit. <laughs> Giant. Everybody, even <laughs> Rachel, even, talk, even Rachel, even Rachel, Rachel. even Lisa. <laughs> Let's Lisa talk about was the opening dumb. Scene. Okay. okay, fine. Everyone's either dumb or a piece of shit. Okay, you want to talk about like the yeah. mom scene painting Let's, the the room that, red? I don't. <laughs> I don't get why she was painting the house red. I know. I'm like, what is that going to protect it. anybody from? I know. I wrote that down too. I'm like, all of a sudden, does the color red protect you from evil spirits or something? And like, then the girl just wants her mom to play with her, and she paints her fucking face red. I laughed so yeah. hard when she was just like <laughs> right in the face. I don't. I guess she was going batshit crazy, but what the hell was the color red going to do to protect your daughter from evil spirits or the devil or whatever it was that she was afraid that was going to come get her daughter? Yeah, I don't that get it made either. No sense. And that she made says, no sense. She says later that she thought she was possessed by the devil or something, but I'm like, you're painting over all of your crazy Jesus pictures. Okay, so that's what I don't okay, get. but you guys are forgetting that she was a schizophrenic though. Like it wasn't just that she. Oh, that's like right. she okay. was okay. a schizophrenic. Okay. Like she wasn't just okay. like you know thinking you know the daughter. That's right. It wasn't okay. That. It, it probably fair. Fair. It probably exacerbated the whole thing, but yeah, schizophrenia. Oh, yeah. I would go a little crazy if my kid started flying shit around. Yeah, the room you, you have schizophrenia, okay. and then all of a sudden your kid right? starts doing that shit. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure it's not making it any, any I better. I smoke weed. I'd just get paranoid. I'd be like, what's flying in? So my, here's my here's my other question about the opening scene too. Who the fuck called the cops? Maybe she did. I don't know. Because they, because all of a sudden they just showed up. They t- they uh they commit her. They put her in with that weird little gurney thing, and they take her off. They yeah. take off with her. The men in white come. But, yeah, the men in white come. But I don't get who the hell called the cops. Yeah, I didn't get well, that I'm either. If, I'm, I'm wondering if it was a neighbor or if she, like you said, if she called and she called them on herself. One of her schizophrenic, what is it, personalities or whatever need be. But I don't, I don't get why. The cops were called. Yeah, you're that crazy that one of your personalities caused the cops <laughs> Whoa, on the bitch. other personality. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. We right. need that to calm the other. fuck down. <laughs> that is too far out there even for me. Like, Jesus, man. I know. I love that the cops just like having her outside in the fucking rain and no, shit. No, and, no. Like, I love it. There. I love in some horror movies where there's just like outside and they're standing in the rain and the cop always has an umbrella or a rain jacket, but it ain't, it ain't doing shit to cover no. anybody because they have no. to be dripping wet. I know there was no need. Before, there was no need for them to be standing out there. Like the whole part where she runs out. Yeah. Like, yeah, you could still do that, but her running from outside or inside to the outside or something. Like there was no need for y'all to just be standing in the room. I know. It's like so where's ridiculous. your dad? Where's okay? We're just I gonna know. dump you with a family, right? Yeah. And should the cop be asking her these questions? Like, <laughs> okay, again, who are you gonna ask? The schizophrenic in they the back did. of the ambulance? Well, CPS should have came with a caseworker, well, not the yeah. cop. Okay, that's all I have. Well, that to was okay. We'll say we'll say that was the the early '80s in the scene. Okay, if, fair enough. If it's the '90s, and you know, if, if assuming this is 1999 that they're in high school or whatever when mm-hmm. the movie yeah. came out. 
But this town, uh, we knew from before, because apparently it's either near the same town as Carrie or the same town as Carrie. But we knew yeah. before, everybody's dicks. And apparently nobody's gotten better over this time. They're all still no. a bunch of dicks. They're all still super yeah. gross. <laughs> well, it's got to be the same town because she takes her to the high school. And yeah. This was the old high school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wish they would just tear this place down or whatever she says. But even though this town is full of just the worst fucking people, they have the most naive teenagers in all of the land. Yes, well. they do. All of the land. And Mira Sorvino's line of, do I look different? Like, what did you think was going to happen? Did you, did you <laughs> yeah. just call her Mira Sorvino? Yes, I did. <laughs> What's wife, her name? Why is she Mira Sorvino? What's her name? Rachel is her no. character. Emily no. Emily no, Lisa. Lisa. Mina Savari. Mina Savari. Mina Savari. Yes. I thought you were talking about Rachel. No. no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's why I was like, wait. Okay. But okay. no, I Joe Geronimo. At, at least you, at least Mina Savari and Mira Savino are closer <laughs> yes, I than got I thought. Because I'm like, her name is Emily Burgle. What the fuck are you talking about, Rachel? <laughs> no, I'm not that off. <laughs> okay. Who these characters right. are? No, Lisa's character when she's like, "Do I look different?" I'm like. Did you okay, think you I were going to change I was color? Say or what that, did you like, think okay, were going to happen? Because guys would never do that. In, in movies, it's always a girl thing that girls would say that to each yeah. other. And I'm like, I don't think actual girls would say that. Like, do you expect there to be something different about no. you? Like, no. I mean, no. Have girl, has a, as a girl, have you ever said that or asked? Has anyone said that to you? Like I've never said that because even as a child, I was super sarcastic and potty mouth. So no, I wouldn't say that. Um, <laughs> but no, I have never had that said to me. Do I or look different? Yeah, no, mm. no. <laughs> I might have made a joke about them walking funny, but never no. about them looking different. <laughs> no, but you smell different. Oh, oh bitch, is that you? Goodness. You smell like dick. Damn. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, Teenage Angie was a real fun time. We're not talking about her. Let's get back to this movie. <laughs> okay. I want to point Wait, out I that do- uh, that the, besides the crappy flashback scenes that we get from the original Carrie, um, the character of Sue Snell, Sue Snell is also reprising yes. her role from the original one. And I didn't know. Okay. Her mom in the original movie is actually her mom in real life. Hmm. And her mom oh. in the real in the original movie, um, she was the doctor in Nightmare Three, the one that goes code blue. Huh. That's her okay. mom. So yeah, small okay. world. I'd put that together when we're watching the movie, and I'm like, holy crap! And then you look at them and you realize, like, wow, they do look a lot alike. I yeah. just never realized it. You know what was funny about the Sue character? It took me a while to figure out who she was, and I asked him, like, where do I know her from? And I immediately, for whatever reason, thought she was the tutor teacher. From D two, the Mighty Ducks. I can't recall. No, no, no. Okay, now I get. Yep, D two. No, no, she, not the same. But I get. The, she had the yeah. same hair that year. I she think. had the same hair, the same kind of face. I'm like, is that her? And then Kim was like, no, she's the the girl from the first one. I'm like, okay, that's where I know her from. Then. Yeah. She just had that familiar look, so I was a little bit thrown off by that. See, 1999, Angie was super stoked for this movie, so I like rented it immediately as Blockbuster got it. I saw this movie in the theaters. Actually, I did not see it, it was, in the theaters, uh, but I. It was. I was excited for it because I'm like, wow, give me like, you know, Carrie. This something. was my first time, mm-hmm. or because I thought I had seen this movie, but this was actually my first time watching this movie. Yeah, no, I was. I was super stoked when I was like, Sue Snell is in it, and then I saw this movie, and it, it's. I don't know. I remember. I do have. A, I remember liking it, but I don't remember being like super into it, and I had major carry issues with it i know that you had said that the movie originally was supposed to be its own story and then they just added carry to it but they were was all over the place with her powers and it, granted they like were. it could all manifest differently yeah. the traits or whatever but like sh- i just kinda, wanted them to use it more i know like it, it kind of seemed like she knew that she could use them at some times and the other times it was like she was still trying to figure out like yeah. how to use yeah. them and other times she was like is it me or is it not so i'm like there was no consistency with yeah it's very an undeveloped storyline almost and no one dies until 17, 17 and a half minutes, minutes left, left of the fucking movie and trust us 
these fuckers deserve to die. <laughs> All of them. And yeah, this whole first yeah. half of the movie Maybe just that's... shows you why they deserve to die. And well, at okay, the wait. end, you're it's just not like, even, It's not even die. the first half of the movie. It's it's literally like 85% of the fucking movie. And maybe that's what the director was going for. She's like, I'm going to make these people so fucking horrible. And you want them to die that finally in the last 17 and a half minutes can be like busting a nut of death all over the place. Oh. But then wait, it doesn't wait, wait, because wait. it gets its stupid sappy kind of romance shit at the end. Too, so. <laughs> so fuck it. Someone does die early off in the movie, though. We do need to talk about that. Lisa. That doesn't count. Yes. That yes. doesn't count. It's still, though, it's a death. That doesn't no. count because no okay. one kills her. She kills herself. So Lisa's death comes because these gross, gross, gross uh, supposed children that we're supposed to be watching in high school <laughs> are playing a very yes. gross, disgusting game. And PSA, if you try to sleep with a bunch of people for points, you're going to get an STD or an STI, yeah. whatever they call those these days. You're going to get it. So maybe or not do that. Pregnant. Yes, or spread that seed around, or like in the movie, yes. when teenage angst meets gross game, you get jump off of building, which is what Lisa did. In the in the okay, ultimate, have- look what you made me do, move. <laughs> okay, why? Okay, I okay, I have so many issues with the whole. <laughs> why is there? Okay, first of all, I, I can't even put this into words right now. All right, <laughs> why was she in this weird, like nightmare, dark hallway? First of all, like in her locker, like yeah. in the in the other shots, it was like the daytime, all the lights are on. Then all of a sudden, it's lunchtime, and they turn all the fucking lights off in this hallway where her locker is. And then it's like they don't even explain anything about why she's upset until like way after she's like two days later. They're like, all right, we figured it out. And I don't yeah. know it, I, if maybe it was just me, but I've never put that much like uh, what's the word I'm looking emphasis? for? Emphasis on my virginity to where if I, I like had thrown it know. away at an inopportune moment <laughs> that I had to go jump off a fucking building. <laughs> OK, but yeah, they were. um they were people that nobody knew, right? And you just yeah. called her Amir yeah, Sovino, so she was a super <laughs> outcast. And she thought someone finally loved her and remembered her real name. Yeah. And it's then Lisa. this happens. <laughs> no, I was like, why? I, okay, I get why there's like a weird garden club on top, but I'm like, really? Like, do we trust having a bunch of angsty, like teenagers? emotional teenagers on yeah. the roof, even if they are in garden club mm, yeah, with yeah. no fucking rail well, around the edge mean- where you can just walk off the edge? That's the other thing that they should have at least gotten a heads up. She's like, she's walking too close to that edge. Wait, what the hell is she doing? And no, nobody even. The super 90s chicks that, that are up there. Head, no, <laughs> that, that pothead skater chick in the in the camo tank top and the big. I'm like, that hey. bitch just like, she is the eight or the 90s, man. Like, she I just looked came good out in, in that like camo green color in a black <laughs> tank top. It just was what it was back in the day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that I do have to add, though, is Zachary Ty Bryan, who I believe played Eric. Yes. For whatever yeah. reason, for whatever reason, after Home Improvement, he got typecast as that douchebag character in every other movie that I had seen. That All right. Seen him okay. In. But no offense to that guy, but fucking look at him. He fits the part. Yeah. Like, he team does. Man. Like yeah. he does it so well. So sometimes it's like, you just look like that. And you can't help it. <laughs> yeah. And even before yeah. that, because I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I remember he was in that Sinbad movie with the the first kid or something where Sinbad has to like take care of the president's kid. And, oh like, yeah, and like that Zachary Ty <laughs> Bryan guy was like a bully. Was and, the like, bully at the school? Yeah, and I'm he like, had so like a blazer on. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He, yeah. He's, he's always been cast as that like kind of like asshole kid, like a kid then to teen to I don't know. I don't know what the last thing he did. To he, adult. He, he probably the lo- got an adult role as the asshole. I think the last thing I remember him being in as an adult. Was he was in the uh, Tokyo Drift Fast and the Furious movie? I know oh, he's yeah. in the beginning of that. Never saw it. So. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, that's right up his alley. Then I feel like so. Yeah, okay, yeah. that makes sense. So, hey, he's making his money. Bunch of these teenagers are just sitting in the courtyard having their gross, gross game, adding up points, and then Lisa offs herself in the middle of lunch. And I love the and scene the- because the students just lose their ever fucking mind. <laughs> Except for that one asshole kid who was with the camcorder recording everything. There was always that guy in all 90s movies, though. Yeah. No. And I I found it funny that it was like at first people were like, get back, get back. And then like two shots later, like you just see like there's a teacher standing there as like um, Rachel's like walking across and going around the front of the car. Mm -hmm. And it's like she's just standing there watching, like holding one of the girls. And I'm like, like, no one's making any effort to like get away from 
from not yeah. seeing this. And I love that when the, the principal or whoever goes into the, um, to Sue, Sue's office, who is the guidance counselor or, you know, whatever counselor or whatever. And he's like, you need to come with me. Someone just fucking killed himself. <laughs> bitch, somebody line. just jumped off the roof. And I, I, <laughs> I got to go. And I thought it was funny for like that girl is like that she's talking to like bawling or whatever. And she's like, what about me? It's like, no one cares about your bee fucking Linda. Like, right. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm never going to get out of this town. Well, join the club. Some bitch just died here. <laughs> Read the room, Linda. Out, all right. <sighs> But yeah, so they're sitting there playing their gross game. Everybody dies. Oh yeah, the students. I love that scene, like because it's clear that the director is just like when I say action, chaos is what you guys need yeah. to do. <laughs> and it just like there's people just waving their arms for no reason. Yeah. They're all sorts of all over the place, and it's just oh. so funny. And I know, and I love the fact that it's like they were able to get a massive crowd around there. That some. Like the, the guy, the principal or whoever, ran into Sue's office. She came all the way out and then was standing there next to Rachel and everything. And then finally they were like, everyone, go to your homeroom class. I know. Like, really now? Like, back it's class, just though. getting to you? Back to class. Don't send them back to class. Like, nowadays, like, that's, that, because that's some traumatic shit. The video would have been on the internet already, like, a hundred times over by the time oh, they, yeah. they, had, they had been, like, get back to homeroom. But then, so they they take Rachel into Sue's office, and she's like, it's okay, you can cry. And she's like, I don't cry. And I was like, bitch, maybe you should see somebody about my fucking psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> it's not good to hold your emotions in. I don't cry. I don't know. Maybe we should keep you here all day like <laughs> like they just just like don't leave and then she clearly just leaves um so we get a, a shot of everybody sitting in their homeroom classes guidance counselor comes over and she's like we're gonna reserve a moment of silence but the kids are all just out in their classes and we see the super gross game is uh is backtracking now because it looks as though lisa has killed herself because of the super gross game so now yes. her name must be erased with pencil, <laughs> he didn't erase it. He, he just crosses like, crossed it, it over. out, and not yeah, even he... good. Like it's yeah. just like oh. one line. All right, he's a white <laughs> dude that plays football and wears a fucking do rag. All right, how smart do you think this guy is? All right, I don't want to hear. Oh, it. and then the next scene we get is of the super smart guy who's like, I don't know, man. If this gets out, sex and suicide, I'm never gonna go to college. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He goes. Catholic schools frown upon that. And I was like, I'd really hope that all schools do more than fucking <laughs> yeah. frown upon, and I'm using quoting fingers, than do more than frown upon sex and suicide scandals. I hope it's just not the Catholic church. Like, well, you know, we frown upon well, sex. We frown and, upon that. We frown upon sex and suicide so, scandals. So I love how he's so like, my question. Skits, like, if this gets out, I like PSA, if you don't want stuff to get out, maybe don't do it. <laughs> I mean, you could just not be gross. But he needs all the points he could get. Here was my question when he said Catholic schools frown upon that. Was he planning on transferring to another school? No, because he was he was talking about the the university that the scouts coming from that from that other college, and I'm assuming that was like a Catholic university or something. Yeah, that would be the was, only other thing. He was hoping to get a football scholarship from the from the scouts. So where was he hoping to go? Notre Dame, something like that. Whatever. Oh, no. that, that, Whatever like, he, they say the name. He's like the the. The Clarks, or, you know, Liberty yeah. Universe, or some of the fucking things, you know, one of those, yeah, you know, you're... sham religious yeah. colleges. Yeah, but still, though, yeah, you're right. Like every school should frown upon that. Yeah, like not just them. It's like all of them. Maybe you shouldn't commit crimes before you even get to a college to ruin yourself. And the other thing I got, yeah, add Saul's on to right. Wait till you get to college to commit the yeah. crimes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the other thing I got to add on to it later on in the in the movie where they have him with his dad and they're talking to, I would assume, the, oh, the, cop. the chief of police, yeah. the cop. And they're like, oh, these are some pretty prominent figures. And do you really want to ruin these boys' lives, ruin their, their, their lives for the one decision that they've made? I'm like, yes. Those fuckers don't, shouldn't deserve to get another chance because yes. they've already fucked up. Those fuckers ruined their lives. I didn't stick yeah. my dick into anybody. <laughs> Those fuckers ruined their own lives. <laughs> the uh, the deputy DA, the the woman yeah. in the scene, that was actually a director cameo. She was that? She's the director. Oh. Uh, I hate though when before they they have that little scene when Sue is talking when the guidance counselor is talking to the cop. And it's so gross because the teachers like these football players, the counselors like these football players are statutory raping these girls. 
And this cop yeah. condescendingly turns to her and goes, are you sure you're just not trying to fix your past mistakes? <laughs> like, what the fuck are you no, talking are, about? Are you trying to save a girl from 20 years ago? Yes, but it's basically the same thing. Are you, aren't yeah. you just trying to make up for your past well, okay. mistakes? Like, get okay. the fuck out of here okay. with you. Okay, I, I, gave the, I gave that line for the cop a little leeway because I'm like, this was just a, a convenient way for them to add those those flashback scenes from the first carry in like it was just like all right remember here's what, I know, but it here's just, what they're talking about it's just so gross and i know that horror movies are always a play of like things that actually happen but and his like, actions were contrary to everything that, for that line like that yeah. line is the only thing it's that made so him weird seem like, yeah because i'm telling you it's a convenient way for them to, like throw carry clips in there mm-hmm. okay so yeah lisa dies and even though everybody's like, shit, sex and suicide might get out, they're still playing that fucking game. They're still yeah, out they're still there playing up. this game, having sex. And apparently... Did Jesse and Tracy have sex in a cornfield next to a fucking lighthouse or something? Because why was something it just like a that. random light in the background? With like, a car over, full yeah, of football players next to them? Over and over again. Yeah, because I'm wondering, did, yes. did she know they were there... Uh, in the beginning or was it like they showed up later and then they just happened to be there at the end kind I of don't thing? know but there's something so cringy and disgusting uh, the uh, the main guy Jesse falling out of the car like pulling up his pants and I'm just like this is gross like I, just gross <laughs> well, may, well maybe <laughs> maybe showing the panties and coming out of the yes. backseat maybe those are much for me little maybe much those are extra points all right mm-hmm. But then Jesse I, tries to get real deep and with his post-coital conversation with the girl he doesn't even he like. A, he had a moment of realization. Yeah. <laughs> He's Clarity. like, doesn't it even bother you that some girl offed herself the other day? He's like, bitch, you just fucked me. And yeah. you're going to get moral yeah. on me now? I'm a little high and mighty. I, I don't know. I don't get his character at all because he was being douchey like on and off. And when he does that, it's like, okay, are you trying to change his ways? Because... He's thinking about how Lisa killed herself, and now he's going to change his ways all because of that. But you're still playing the game. Yeah, you're still doing the grossness, Jesse. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're still contributing. Okay, but besides the like the rest of the douchey football players, right? All the other main characters in this fucking movie had no consistency in their actions, None. like whatsoever. Oh. Like mm-hmm. it was like like you said, like he was like one way, then another's like. Well, I don't want to be this way, but I'm still going to do it. Like, I don't know. Yeah, just everyone had no consistency except for the douches who were consistently douching. Yeah. And that's what you expect from those guys. So I will say that I have a note here um, because of so many of the flashbacks that they have throughout the movie. They have a lot of Lisa jumping off the building. And she always gave me a real Lily Munster vibe and I always dug it. Like she's got that hair <laughs> and like that purple shirt going. Wait, who are you? Lisa, talking? the one that jumps off the um, building. Mira Servino. Yes. <laughs> okay. What's her name? I don't know. I don't what know. What's her, name? What's her name? <laughs> well, yeah, Angie, what is her name? I don't it's Mina Suvari. Suvari. She's the Suvari. Mina is going on a safari. She's <laughs> okay. <laughs> With Mira Servino. Yes. <laughs> whatever you, whatever got you gotta it. do to got remember it. her name. All okay, right. I do not like the stylistic choice of the black and white. Um, carry moments where she's using her powers and or like seeing like it's almost like it she's watching herself do it but not yeah it's out of body kind of yeah like it that's it took me out of the thing i'm like ah like it's so annoying like after like it just it was just too much for me like i don't know what it was i was just like it takes you out of the story and there's so many other things that are already taking out of the story like the flashback scenes from the first movie take you out of the story the fucking music again like there's mm. the whole Walter dog scene I'm like this music is so fucking horrible I like, know the 90s yes. references of garbage and oh, Shirley Manson and, <laughs> yeah. and the shiny oh. happy you like gar- people you like garbage uh, <laughs> Lisa like garbage <laughs> Oh my god! And that whole fucking her whole dialogue would be like sometimes when I see somebody from behind and I think it's Lisa, <laughs> it's Lisa but it's not oh. Lisa. Like, and, sometimes, yeah. and sometimes it is Lisa, but, <laughs> but sometimes now it's not, it's not Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> and now it's never gonna be Lisa. I cracked up. I was like, "Bitch, do you know what your friend looks Apparently like?" Apparently not. Like you're just you going know, up to random because, girls, going Lisa. Yes, because she literally <laughs> did it the same fucking day as this girl was killing herself. She's like, "Oh, hey, Lisa," and I'm like, "No wonder this girl's killing herself. Her best <laughs> that fucking doesn't friend even doesn't even know what she looks like." And they sit on the they sit on the oh bus together goodness. that same fucking morning, man. Like, you know, from the movie now. Here's here's what she had that little spiel. Here's what it reminded me of. Did you guys ever see The Ringer? 
with uh, yes. Johnny Knoxville. Mm-hmm. Go for go. Remember, <laughs> the, remember the scene where you guys remember the, the scene where the guy says some he's like I have a dog and sometimes he bites me, but sometimes he doesn't. Yes. <laughs> that was a lot it of reminds, her dialogue, rem- I guess. Scratch. It reminded me of her dialogue when she went through that whole spiel about seeing her from behind and thinking that it's her. It took me to that. I'm like, oh no, that it, I couldn't stop laughing when I did when the that dialogue. The dialogue. Oh, I like, have a whole uh, thing where she was talking about some guy shoving spaghetti up her face, like, and I was just like, what yeah. are you even talking about right now? And, and why okay. is this necessary and to the funny, story? It's funny to me that whoever wrote the fucking movie. The whole spaghetti brain flossing fucking uh, the dialogue they wrote. They wrote in the next line. You're probably wondering where I'm going with this. Yes, everyone like, is. Yes, everyone, everyone is. is. <laughs> and you know that everyone is. So you put that line in there specifically because you know, like, what the fuck are you talking about? I love the scene I, where Rachel goes and she's at school and she powers that Eric's uh, locker shut. Yeah. And again. she's like, I yeah. know. Yeah, and how come no one is like, wait, how did you do that? Like no. even even dumbass Eric. Like, <laughs> I love that thing because he's like, oh, and just walks away, and I just <laughs> like, you better walk away, you bitch. <laughs> like I yeah. just wanted her to yell at her. I know she did. <sighs> she needed to say more. Like she you better walk to, away, you little. She cunt. needed to do stuff before seventeen minutes left in the fucking yes. movie, man. Like this yes. could have been okay. They should have made this movie to where it's like she got slow exacting revenge one by one, and there's no way they could have proved it was her because that, like how are you gonna prove I have telekinesis, more- bitch? That would have made more sense. And yes. then and then the scene where they go to the what is it, the the photo hut because they're like, I think she took a picture of me. Yeah. Because they have that because he has that conversation with that other guy. And that he tells him everything that's going on and then they make that other guy. I forget his name. He goes and does that weird little thing where he says, Oh, this will happen, this will happen. He's like, But you know what? I'll take care of it. Like who the fuck are you? You're some teenage dude. You're not some Don that's going to all of a sudden. Well, he was like 27. He <laughs> was like 30 in this yeah. movie. But yeah, I, it's so funny because I'm like, I get that you want, you know, you don't want 17 and like 18 and 16 year olds to play these parts. Totally get it. Yeah. But th- nearing 30 is a little much for a high schooler. <laughs> yeah. When, when you start the movie and then towards the end of the movie, there's noticeable hair loss. <laughs> Like, that's probably not, like, probably overstepping the age range here a little bit. Oh, like, they're just so the worst. That other guy, he is the worst dude. And like you said, there's no consistency. There's this one scene in the movie where, like, the coach kind of belittles him. And I'm like, are we supposed to feel bad for this guy? Because no, fuck that guy. Like, Yeah, I know. That scene was so fucking random, too. It's like, okay, well, yeah, like you're saying, like, are we supposed to feel bad for this guy because he's... You know, he's doing this to himself, you know, because you're putting up with it. Like, that's the other thing, too. I'm like, yeah. like, like if anyone is like, no, I'm going to punch you. Why did okay, where do they fucking live that no one has an accent except the fucking coach? I don't know. Yeah. Well, the thing, even with that scene, though, you see it build up where he tells him to stand up and tells him to drop trial. I was like, OK, where are they going with this? And then he just belittles him for missing a block. I'm like, OK, that was the, it's like, I just don't see why they decided to do certain things in this movie because it made absolutely no sense. They just didn't tie into anything. Because you don't feel any sort of empathy for him because you realize this dude's a jackass. So him to get humiliated in front of his entire team was like, good, that fucker deserves it. I know. I I wanted him to say something smart ass to the coach, too. It'd be like, I just wanted to make sure there were no tampons string there. So then you just looked at my asshole then and just left it at that. (laughs) And like everyone would have been like, okay. (laughs) I mean, he could have just winked at the coach and made it real weird. (laughs) And I meant wink with the other eye. Oh, I know what you meant. (laughs) Make it real but, weird for everybody. But going back to that scene that you were talking like about, that, Saul, with the photo You hut, like that, coach? Yeah, mm. again. That guy, when he's yeah. like, how about I swing by? I'm like, ew, no. That's, I, have you ever done that? And like a girl was like, oh, okay, no. Nobody likes that. Guys don't I, do I, that. Okay, yeah, I don't uh, I don't imagine anyone saying that. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm not a girl, but I think if anyone ever said it to me, I would probably laugh so hard that mm-hmm. I'd be like, well, oh, my God. Yeah. Wait, were you serious? Like. No. Yeah. Okay. But the other no, you're the, bald. But, yes. But the other thing with Jesse, though, again, it's just this weird. I don't know what they were going for with his character because, again, you see him being a douche, and you see him try to kind of redeem himself because he goes with that other asshole in in the car to the photo hut to try to go talk to to Rachel and see what they know and what he offers her twenty bucks for the picture, and then he 
does all those weird, creepy lines to try to pick up on her, which, again, you have Jesse there, and I'm like, dude, you could not be a dick and not go with him and just put him in his place and not... Even, yeah, even when they're in the car, he's like, dude, knock it off. And it's like, you should have spoke up way sooner. Yeah, like, no, it's and, a little late to be getting mighty with people. And he Jesse. said it in a way that's like Rachel probably wouldn't have even heard. Yeah. Like him saying, yeah. like, knock it off or whatever. So it's like, she has no consistency in the fact that I'm like, wait, this guy is one of the best friends of the guy that slept with your friend that made her kill herself. Kill mm-hmm. herself. And yeah. you're thinking like, oh, I can fix him. I can fix him. He's not like the others. Spoiler alert, <sighs> they're always like the others. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 I do have a question, though, about the about the, the diner scene. Because, what is it? They have the whole little dinner, and they're like, oh, it's getting pretty late. I'm like, uh, how late has it been since you've been out? And don't her... Foster parents? Fosters, yeah. but, well, they, here's the thing I know, about the yeah, the, the dad gets home or whatever, and he's like, your dumb dog got out. I know your friend just died and all, but your stupid dog's out again. Yeah. And then she just and leaves she for, like, out. three hours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. you know? But again, I mean, they're shitty people, because one of his first lines is like, what are we going to do without that extra 300 bucks a month? Well, <laughs> so it's not, about, really, it's not like they're really worried about her, I don't think. My question, too, with the foster parents is, were they foster parents? Because at one point, what's it called? When Lisa was alive, did say... Your stepdad being an asshole again. She said your foster dad, I think. It was a foster dad? I thought it was yeah. stepdad. Okay, so, okay. Well, where do you think they're getting this 300 bucks from, man? <laughs> yeah, it's got to be okay. foster. Foster if she, if she kids. Comes okay, and, yeah. that, and that was my other thing, too. I'm like, who the fuck is going to pay for Walter's bills? Your ass is only worth $300 a month. Like, mm-hmm. they ain't going to give yeah. that up. Like, Well, she works, too. I guess. Well, she works yeah. at photo the photo hut. hut. That's like her whole month's paycheck right there. Like, we, okay, oh. okay. We get to the fucking part where uh, I don't know the the main douche guy's name. The one I that's call him bald. Captain Douche. In okay, notes. Captain, Captain Douche. douche. Captain douche. douche. Okay, so CD and Eric are gonna go do what he calls damage control uh, on on yeah. Rachel, basically, right? Okay. Um, <sighs> Why does he do that stupid ass Donald Duck voice I have no on the clue. fucking phone? Like, why are you ransom like, calling her with like, a duck voice, like, man? Hello, Rachel. And I'm like, why is he doing a duck voice? I'm like, why the fuck? Because I just imagined him like, <laughs> like trying to do this fucking under the trailer where they were hiding. I'm like, and how did the parents not see him at all? Like, when they yeah, they would have. Because they just him. they just were like walking, I'm like they're clearly in line of sight. Yes, well, the random duck up voice. On. Who, yeah, who the fuck, they crept up wait, because who the fuck is intimidated by, like, if Donald Duck showed up to my house and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, I will fucking go duck hunting, bitch. Like, I don't care. Yes. And was that a scream <laughs> reference? He did. He did he goes, a scream <laughs> reference. <laughs> I can't do a duck voice, but I was like, I know, he's like, who man. does it sound like? I'm like, a fucking duck. Hello? That's who it sounds like, you fucking twat. Who is this? <sighs> oh, Captain Douche is really Captain Douche. Really. Captain Duck Douche. Captain Duck. And then the thing that pissed me off more so with the foster parents is they got pissed off at her because she's being terrorized in the house. Yeah, they don't know. But again, you're walking up to the house, you see a car drive off for no reason, and you don't think, okay, now you can start adding shit up. It's like, okay, that makes sense on why a brick would would have been thrown through the window and a car taking off. But they still get mad at her. Like it was her fault that she was getting terrorized. Uh, okay, they're one thing because they're the foster parents and they clearly don't give a shit too much. But who the fuck was the the nine one one operator? It's like, wait, are you sure? Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Just like everything's yeah. okay now? Like, like no, I'm fine. gonna need more than that, ma'am. You're like, good. please don't hang up the fucking phone. <laughs> like you were pissing yourself a minute ago. I was like, nope, never mind. I'm good. Or not Is just that, there with you. Send a police officer out there to take a police report for what the damage they did do. I don't know. It's, it's all yeah. it's all crap. Yeah, yeah, I don't even think anybody not came even out. The, this, this town is awful. That's not even the worst <laughs> part of this whole fucking thing. They still haven't completely no. bulldozed the old high school that burnt down 20 years ago. So. Well, that land is cursed. <laughs> oh, okay, and in the brain flossing scene, it was basically she was getting at, you do football good, you leave town, Yeah, take me with you. <laughs> you have skill, you good job. You know football good. Uh, but then they start making out because they're like on a date. And in the largest front seat ever that she was able to like spin around and like shit. Like what the but, fuck, man? But the parking for brake, the parking brake in her was in her back. I was like, if it's in your back, you're, that's his dick, honey. That's, yeah. That's not a parking brake. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a parking she brake. Was, she meant her butthole. 
But then she tells him she wants her first time to be special, you know, not have sex in the same place. He just fucked that other chick uh, the other uh, day. They were in the back seat. Mm. Which he offered. He even offered to go in the back seat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's more comfortable, apparently. I mean, plenty of room to fuck. He knows, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Terrible choices. Terrible children. Okay, well, she wants daisies to... She does want daisies. She basically is like, bring me these fuck me flowers and then I will fuck you. I will fuck anyone who brings me daisies, Daisies. basically. Mm -hmm. What? You have low self-esteem, bitch. And then Sue Snell decides to go visit her mom. She's like, I'm going to go visit her. And I love when they go to the, the asylum, Arkham Asylum. And there's just that guy carrying a fire extinguisher in the back, <laughs> like a baby. Yeah, I was like, look guy, at you. Uh, the 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 one that was just banging his head against the. Yeah, thing. I was like, seems like somebody said stop what does he that say? dude. Like, I don't know, or yeah. something like that. And then the one guy was like, Terry, hey, we can still get married, Terry. Terry come on, Terry. Come on. <laughs> I still love you, Terry. <laughs> it's not fucking Terry. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why are there guys in suits and orderly just watching them do all this and doing nothing? Like, <sighs> but like then, you guys are shit at your job. Yeah. And I found it funny that Sue was like, no, it's carried by, by the males. And they, like, you're just making shit up to get the no, lady remember, to tell you. Like, she researched. She found a lab at Princeton. Oh, she had a whole bullshit. exit plan. She made all that <laughs> shit up. <laughs> She had a plan to fucking take fucking Rachel to go get studied at some lab. She was like, we're going to do this. She was roommates with Harley Quinn. She made it all up. Mm. So he brings brings me the, he brings her the fuck me flowers. Oh, I guess we have to explain the, the devious plot set up by the skinhead football players. Cause they're basically skinheads at the end of this. Film. I, I wrote down who is the smooth talking sex preacher who keeps knocking chicks up. I want his story. I know. Well, I, mine was Stephen like, even King. I'm looking at you. Happy birthday. Buddy. Yeah. I put Ralph white definitely has a type. <laughs> and I also wrote, why is Rachel so angry at Sue? Like she's saying things that are right. Why are you so mad? <laughs> I thought it was funny that she tried oh, to sneak when she was doing that uh, that test on her where she tried to sneak and I moved things with my mind. Wait, what was that last one? <laughs> and I moved things with my mind. Hmm? Hmm? Do you ever uh, move things with your mind? <laughs> yeah, maybe just a little bit. What were the other questions? Do my thoughts the manifest as insects? Is a large <laughs> insect, yes. I wanted to be like, I yeah. I want to say yes to that just yeah. to be a smart ass. Like, are you yeah. testing that part of me? Do. Well, she did have the smart ass answer when she said, Are do you have dreams of are there furry kind of animals furry animals on yeah. your face or something? <laughs> and she said, Yes. She's like, I have a dog. <laughs> do you move things with your mind? Because <laughs> that's literally the, literally that the was literally scene. the next question. Like, oh my god! Do you move things with your mind? What? And then we go immediately from like that whole thing where it's like Sue's just trying to help Rachel and everything's gonna be okay to rich white dude grossness, where where yes. they're just like want to be responsible for ruining these kids' lives. Like bitch, they threw their own trash lives in the trash can. I didn't do nothing. Yes. Trash that's, can't that's trash the, people. Right. That's the prominent town or the prominent families in this hick town. Well, somebody should have taught them some prominent morals then, huh? <laughs> Bitch. See, to me, if you're going to be a shit kid, you're only going to be a shit adult. Yep. Mm-hmm. Shit begets shit. Shit begets yes. shit. So basically, none he, the, was that the chief of police or was that more of like a, a politician who came into that. He was meeting. the DA. He was he was the head of he the was, DA. He, no, he was the actual DA. The chick was the deputy DA. Gotcha. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, because he just goes in there and he says, "Don't mind me, I'm just listening." And then he basically then he is like, "Ha ha ha, white boys, get out of here." <laughs> yeah, that's basically like, what well, happens. Boys will be boys. Well, not that, but, but what is it? He says he's not suspended because he's playing in this football game because it's really important and it's going to be for his future. So yeah, we can just throw water under the bridge. Yeah, and I wrote a note too. Was the football team supposed to feel like a cult? Because it starts to feel really culty towards the end. Like this is just football guys. I think, I like think, yeah. <laughs> that seemed like it was a big trend in '90s movies to where it's like, like the football was like more than life in yeah. these places. And I'm like, all right, I know that there are probably places like this, and I'm sure it's not as extreme yeah. as they show you in movies, and probably as frequent as they show you in these '90s fucking movies. But I'm like. It, it it got a little over the top in like every fucking movie that had a football team. It in high was school. Like, and in every yeah. movie too. It was like it was so dire because this is the only way they were getting out it's of the, the only town. way I can get out is a 
I was like, not smart person that plays football well. And and children out there listening, if you want to get out of a town, you just go. I really hope. Like literally, nobody is stopping you. Okay, okay. (laughs) this is true. But more than that, I really hope children don't listen to this podcast. (laughs) Yes, don't listen to this if you're an actual child. Get your mom. I'm a child, as in younger than myself. (laughs) (laughs) That is what I do. Have a question about the football game, Paul? You played football in high school, right? Yeah. Angie, you probably went to fo- high school football games when high school, right? I smoked a lot of weed at football games, so yeah. But still, you went. Here's what I'm getting at. When have you ever seen a high school football game take place in the daytime? during what looks like <laughs> during the middle of the day? Yeah, mm-hmm. that was a bit weird. Maybe they maybe they played Saturday games there in this town. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, I mean, in like junior, like pre-high school peewee football or whatever, you know, like those were Saturday games or whatever, but... Never in high school that I yeah. played like a. I yeah never the, like the closest thing is whenever you would have like a four o'clock start and that's when you were playing freshman football, but yeah if it's varsity football, it's almost always at night. It's never during the day. So that's the one thing that I just like. Why are they playing during? The well, day? I feel like this whole fucking movie was made by people that have never talked to high school people and yes. don't and have never heard actual people, high school or otherwise, talk to each other. Oh, you mean that they yeah. don't say you're caviar and she's cheese whiz? Why, and why does she say it so weird? She <laughs> says she's know. cheese whiz. I'm like, is this supposed to be like a, a Disney movie yeah, that I'm they like, cut in bad language? I'm like, was that the scenes? was that the first time that the actress ever said the words cheese whiz? Because she said whiz so weird. She put a weird emphasis on the. W- Cheese whiz. I'm like, what? I know. So awkward. And then when they're at the day game, Crazy McRaperson gets vicious and gets kicked out of the game. And it's know, almost like you shouldn't just let yeah. pansy ass white boys do whatever they want. In his do rag, nonetheless. <laughs> no, I'm like, okay, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why? Okay. okay. This, there was the whole fucking thing that he was like, my life is ruined. The scout's coming. The scout. If, I don't, the if he scouts. doesn't give me a scholarship, my dad's going to kill me. I never get out of this town. And then he played two minutes of the fucking mm-hmm. game it was like you're ejected. out of the game you're ejected from the game did you again i'm a football purist but did you pick up on what got him ejected was it the the throat well, punch probably <laughs> no 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 here here is what they they didn't call it a penalty they called it a foul yeah i don't know like that is basketball that is not football they call it the it's right a, thing yeah. it's a penalty it's a flagrant foul <laughs> i yeah, do i do like foul. that you call yourself a football purist that's adorable song <laughs> yes <laughs> But still, Aww. you call it's it double it dribbling on, a, on the bite team. Yeah. It's an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, and he gets thrown out for that. Not a flagrant foul, which happens in basketball, and not football. The his whole story was so back and forth. And again, if these are the most prominent boys and prominent families in town, do they really have to get a football scholarship? to get into the best colleges. I know. And I'm like, this, this kind of I mean, sounds muddied here. I mean, we don't know about um, Eric's family or anything, but Jesse's driving like a, a dad SUV, basically. Yeah. <laughs> his like fuck van. Um, the other Captain Duck douche is driving a fucking Mustang that his hair is falling out all over. I know. So it's like, I, they have I, my, yeah. and, he, and he's like, yeah, go fuck her in my, uh, my parents' summer house. Then nobody will be there. Yeah. Yeah. And then he has a party at his house, which is like a huge fucking place. So no, it's, like, it's swank, as Rachel yeah. says. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she walks into this party and just goes, swank. I was like, no, no teenager. Have you <laughs> have you spoken words to people in real life before? I was a teenager in 1999. And even I was like, no, no, <laughs> this is not mm. correct. I don't think I ever heard anybody use the word swank while I was in high school. Nope. Mm-mm. At all. But Unless they were like the, I don't, I don't want to say it. I don't make fun of kids in high school. Yeah, don't make fun of kids in high school. Uh, but I'll, while this day that. football game is going on, Sue is like, I got to break mom out of the fucking crazy place and we're going to go save Rachel. Okay, hold on, hold on. All right, we, we got to get, we got to analyze this for a second, great. Okay, first I do want to say that um, in the trivia it mentions that Arkham Asylum is a reference to H.P. Lovecraft. So actually... You know, in Batman and this, there are references to uh, Lovecraft shit. I guess he is, yeah. you know, whatever. So how fucking secure is your mental hospital if a piece of fucking gum is the only thing standing between <laughs> you and, and the, the people world. getting out yeah. of this place that some former resident 
is able to walk in and visit someone and then just can you get my purse from it, behind apparently you? Apparently, it was and then just, one boom. locked door. Just well, one. Well, two technically, because yeah. she distracted yeah. that one chick with, like, get my purse of the, behind you on the floor for some reason. And then she let the other one out. And then the second one was where she put the gum on there. And I'm like, really? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. this bitch used to live here. So she's crazy, clearly, mm-hmm. at least to a certain extent. And then it's, it's fucking uh, a few sticks of hubba bubba is what gets this bitch out of the insane asylum. And then five yeah. minutes after she gets out and she's like, oh, Mr. O'Toole or Mr. George or whatever. I'm like, turn around right I now. I know. She was like, this shit, bitch. this lady's like, still a wackadoo. This chick is envisioning some guy like uh, flashing her from the, from the corner of his mm-hmm. lawn. And like, yeah, you need to turn around and put her back because there's nothing that she's going to do in this whole endeavor that is going to help you. And that is no more clear than it is right Right now, and even well, here's the other question that I had after that when she started doing her little when she started what hallucinating her neighbor or whatever need be was earlier in the movie they say that oh your mom's almost up for release like wh- are you kidding me it's like have you taken her out and now that this other lady took her out she's obviously still seeing things so how the hell is she almost eligible for release when clearly nothing has changed. I don't know. I kind of took that that the mom was just saying that the the foster mom, because it was in that whole scene in the beginning where she's like, "We might not have her for too much longer." Her mom's been doing well on her new medicine. So I'm like, I think she was just kind of saying that to make her feel better, kind of thing. Think even, but I think even Sue even mentioned that when he, she had her first little talk to Rachel, saying about how, "Oh, I hear your mom's doing really good at the at whatever the asylum, whatever need be." So to me, it yeah. seemed like they were kind of establishing that she was gonna get out. But yeah, you're right. She's actually crazy. Turn her the fuck, turn the fuck around, and get her back to the asylum because there's not going to be a damn thing she's going to do to be able to help you. Nope. And in a complete 180, Rachel goes from loner to completely in love with Jesse, and now really wants to go to the final football game. And she gets I there know, just I in know. time for the winning play. <laughs> I I think it's funny to me that it's like she probably doesn't know shit about football Mm-mm. like at all like no. i mean i'm sure even like the foster dad watches football or whatever like a regular guy and she's like no interest like i would imagine right and then all of a sudden she's like listening and i'm like do you even know what you're listening for like do you even understand what any of this shit is and then oh my god he's hurt i have to get there i'm like what the fuck are you gonna do like, i love when down. she <laughs> when they run off the field and he's completed the winning touchdown and they point at each other i'm like what the fuck are you guys pointing at each other I know, she, for she looked like she was gonna fall over or something because she's like you yeah she just looked like, like, like if why you, are you if doing you look, that if you look at that scene and just look at her and just be like she's drunk she's drunk like you would not if i told you she was drunk you would not think that mm-hmm. she was not drunk because it was that awkward and like just so pointing awkward. at each other. I'm like, and she starts trusting people just because she started dating Jesse. Like, I don't get that. Like, I know I'm like, those again, people aren't going to change. They still didn't try to talk to you even, before. Cause Fuck even, them. um, even shit break is like, are you sure about this? Oh yeah. This? The guy who fucks Stifler's yeah. mom is in like, this movie as a baby. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> He's told you like three or four times, like, look, she's dating that other bitch and mm-hmm. they're going to do something to you because she's a fucking bitch. Yeah. It's like, look at her. So, she's yeah. looking at you with devil eyes right now. Like, yeah. <laughs> And even at the end when they're, like, he's trying to get into the party, he's like, Rachel, get me in. And they're like, no, like she's with us now. And this is that. I'm like, hint, bitch, hint, hint. Like, And yeah. then finally, after she gets terrorized again. Because they show a video at the party of them having sex in the, what did you say, a summer house? It was, yeah, he was like our summer, parents, right? summer, summer house. summer house, bro. And then they throw her onto the floor. That's when she loses it. I'm like, bitch, you should have lost it fucking four scenes ago. Oh, <laughs> like, you seriously? need to be, like, killing everybody up in this fucking town. And like you said earlier, if they would have, like, made it more vengeful, even the deaths that they would have had would have been better payoffs. Because we, they would have been yeah. sprinkled through. So you yeah. had more of a payoff. And some of them just like one on top of each other in the end scene just seems kind of. It's muddled. It, it is. Really is. It, it takes away from each one of them. Yeah. Like their deaths are kind of most meaningless because yeah. then you, you kind of speed through their deaths real quick. Okay. I do have to say uh, the one bitch, I don't know her name, but her eyes exploding like that. Yeah. So right. cool. I love that. I love the like, eyes. Yes. I'm like that. All right. That is a solid thing. And but that it's leads still not to the worth. spear gun to the scrote. And yeah. that we scene have, <laughs> is great. We do have to mention, even though I'm going to nerd out here and say something that you guys are going to give me crap for. We can't forget that Rachel went Super Saiyan and went crazy with her tattoo 
and started offing everybody. She did. Her tattoo oh, the, spread okay, throughout the, her body. The, the, the heartbeat. heartbeat out of her skin. Yeah. Like, Best blood. Jesus, man. Like, come mm-hmm. on. Her and Lisa had a tattoo. If you guys haven't seen this movie, that's what we're talking about. They had the same hat. Yeah, cat they tattoo. Were, it's a they heart were, tattoo. A weird rose tattoo. <laughs> yeah, they were outcasts and they were 16, but they were they had tattoos. They had tattoos. And, so and like, apparently uh, she got a tattoo before she lost her V-card. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, and then one of the guys, I don't know if you noticed in one of the scenes, he had like a big, huge, full on like half sleeve tattoo on one of his arms. I also love that, like, like you're saying, like they all have these tattoos and one of the scenes were in the locker room and you just see like dudes asses but i'm like wait are we supposed to believe these are children yeah because <laughs> yeah. they're in high school like <laughs> well they're 18 because they're you know it was statutory rape so they're all they're all you know of age i mean fair but i you know, never I mean, understand the that, that i mean even with the original carrie and i mean i guess i i get it for the original carrie because the opening scene you know they were showered and yeah. stuff like that so the I mean, nudity that's, that's where it took place yeah you know? that kind of yeah. makes sense but this one, it just felt so, uh, it just felt so weird and out of place. I'm like, why are we focusing on the naivety yeah, like, of some of these kids, but not on the others? I know. And it's like that, yeah. that scene didn't even need to take place in the locker room. And I feel like there's a lot of scenes in this that they just threw in to be similar to the first movie as kind of, we're going to give you the in the face references from the first movie via the clips that we show. But then we're going to give subtle references to the first movie by making scenes like the whole poetry thing in the beginning. I'm like, this is a direct fucking rip off of the first guy. Yeah. yeah. So, Where Rachel's like, I don't believe in love. I don't believe in love. <sighs> but yeah, so, let, yeah let's get back to the, the to death. her. I feel, yeah, I feel when she starts to rage and she's going through that whole thing and they do the the black and white scene again and like all the faces are doing that like quick kind of jerking thing where it's like all blurry. I'm like, this is a 90s fucking music video real Mm -hmm. quick. Like this is just, they just threw a music video in the middle of this fucking ending of the the, the scene or whatever. I'm like, this is straight out of fucking MTV, like rock videos and shit. I do love though that uh, Rachel gets a stunning double header and takes Sue out. And that other douche yeah. with the door. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't appreciate that. The, that the that's how Sue it died. Was curved. Ah, like you could clearly see that. Like it bent down, and then the the one that was behind Sue's head was actually like completely like at a yeah. different angle. I'm like, oh, that's just sloppy, man. Like, <laughs> I get these people aren't the same height now, but you. I mean, you could have went through his throat and her eye or something. Yeah, like, it, I yeah. like the death. So like we're talking about, like I like. That whole effect of the thing through the both of the heads and the death by CDs. I really got a kick out of that as a kid, even though that's kind of a dead medium. <laughs> okay. Okay. I okay. I love the deaths. Um, but I hate the fact that they happen so quickly and then you get more of this like romance bullshit. Oh, like, you mean where Rachel yeah. learns to love just before she dies? After she prays to God <laughs> to let, to her, let die. her die. All right. Okay. But yeah. okay. I do have to mention um, in the IMDb trivia, it mentions that the scene where the glass breaks behind Rachel, they filmed that three times to get it right. Cause they wanted to where she didn't blink and she didn't show any emotion and it just happened. So it looks pretty cool in the final one, but Apparently, the first time um, it it kind of scared her, so she kind of blinked and shocked or and jumped or whatever. So they yeah. had to do it again. The second time, I guess she was uh, showing her teeth or something. So they're like, "Nope, get it again." So they did it, and finally, the third time is what they got in the movie. Um, it actually cut her up, like the glass actually cut her up because they was like, Ooh. like literally like blowing like shards of glass for that effect. Yeah, and it cut the back oh, of her sorry. up and like the back of her arms. So that's why the rest of the the scenes in the movie, it's only showing her front because like it was all like cut up in the back. So I'm like, oh, so she shit. actually like the actors. I'm like, I'm like, so good for you. Like you know, like you went through that yeah. and like it, yeah. it turned out to be a you know a cool shot or whatever. I'm like, that still sucks though, man. Like yeah. And then you end it the way you end it. So with Jesse Cry staring question. into a mirror. <laughs> I do have a question on one of the deaths. The guy where. I forget what Captain Douche, I think is what it was, where she drowned him. Yeah. Like where she threw him in the in, in the pool. Yeah, she covered the the, hell... she put the cover over it or whatever. Yeah. Here's my question. The dude's obviously drowning, right? Mm-hmm. Why did he cough up blood? I don't yeah, know. I don't get that either. I'm it, like, it, it, like more blood kept it was spewing a, out of him. I and was I'm like, like, why? And it didn't even look like blood. It just looked like a dark thing. I'm like, was the evil coming out of him? Like, what is this? <laughs> like, what the know. fuck, man? Was his trash personality coming out yeah, of his body? Like, <laughs> 
Like, I can get if you have internal injuries, but if you're drowning, I don't think the blood would come out of your mouth right away no. if you had those internal injuries. But, yeah, that's that's one of the deaths that made little oh, – I had a little umbrage with because I, I – yeah. Yeah, it was a weird like, – like, I don't know. They just wanted to focus on him drowning, oh, but oh. they felt it needed more or something? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but okay. The, oh, the guy's I forget. the guy's name was Mark because I wrote down yeah. I wrote down a note. Um, Captain Duck Douche, is, his name is Mark. Um, remember the scene where they're sitting there at lunch and uh, Tracy's like, "I just wish there was some way I could show him and this and that." And then it has this weird cut to where one of the other guys is like, "Oh, the wheels in Mark's head are turning," and I'm like, "It just <laughs> yeah. paused and like sat there." I'm like, "Well, apparently the wheels take a long time to." get any results because it's just like the shot was just focusing on him and like lingering and like and lingering. like he keeps yeah. like raising and his eyebrows like, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. like is this hmm. your really hard thinking face hmm. I'm like Jesus man I, the one thing I just remembered we do have to mention the way Zachary Bry- Zachary Ty Bryan's character died by getting the spear through his dick to the scrot yeah it, right in there yeah and he pretty much and he pretty much just bleeds out I'm like wow that's one way to die mm-hmm she pretty much castrates him with the spear gun, and then he just yeah. bleeds out. I mean, it's a way to go. No, it was it was second it was second Cher's fault. It was second Cher's fault. She's the one yeah. that her eyes exploded, and then she turned the harpoon on him. Yeah, I just don't get what they were trying to do with those spear guns. Like you see that Rachel has these weird telekinesis powers. What the fuck are you going to do with the spear gun? I know. I Seriously. always thought it was a weird choice. I'm like, if you, out of all the things that the, the writer, the director, anybody could have had there be their fucking like, weapons, yeah. why a spear gun? And I love I how when they're like, it's like, pull the cord, pull the cord. He's <laughs> like, what cord? I know. I'm like, I would like, <laughs> I always assumed like you just pull the trigger and things are set up. Yeah. And he's like, pull the cord for it. I'm like, all right. I'm like, I, what cord? I'm like, I'm just going to put this down because I have no fucking clue. <laughs> I've never, give me the flare gun instead because I can do that. But this, this fucking harpoon thing, like, nope. And if Rachel could explode eyes, my ass would have been exploding eyes a lot sooner. Yes. Like, because well, they could have never tied yes. it to you. Like, oh, those bitches' eyes just <laughs> exploded. Like, she's just sitting in class one day making people's <laughs> eyes explode. It can't be tied to her. Like, yeah. she's not even near them. Like, one of them makes a crack at her and she's like, Pff, I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It's just in here. It's, it's a phenomenon. In Did this nothing. Room. I don't know. See, Rachel needs to have some balls, man. Well, she couldn't do the eye exploding thing until her, her vines grew or whatever She's the fuck She really it was. wasted her powers here. Yeah. I need these yeah. powers. Yeah, she gets these powers only to just sit there and die. Mm-hmm. God damn it, Rachel. Yeah, See, but- everyone in the, everyone, you're right. Everyone in this movie is stupid. Mm-hmm. Every yes. single person in this, in this movie is stupid. There's not one person that I'm like, you made the right decision. Or the cop in the, the right beginning choice. couldn't even figure out how to use a raincoat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then what? Well, we get Jesse finally full showing of up. Idiots. Yeah, Jesse we finally shows up. I love that Jesse and that other chick show up, and they're just like, "What the fuck is happening?" I know, like, <laughs> like they're in the living room looking at the fire and shit. Like, I'm like, "What are you he, doing?" Couldn't he have called someone else and be like, "Hey, can you come pick me up? Like, my car's fucked, and this bitch is taking forever to pick out a fucking blouse." Like, in her weird yeah. mom frock that she put on the first time. I thought it was a nightgown. <laughs> I was I like, like, "What, what the, is that? What is this?" I'm like, "This is not sexy at all." And then she takes it off. I'm like, "In your granny panties? Like, are you trying to chase this guy?" way like what is the problem like what is the point of your <laughs> your half-ass grandma seduction tactique the techniques that you're doing right now yeah it didn't make no, sense. It made no sense see anything you like like bitch i dropped you off and then, and then bolted the fuck out of your driveway like i screeched the tires i thought that was clear mm-hmm. that, that yes. sent a clear message and we really haven't talked since and i've been hanging out with another chick i thought See, this is what guys think is clear. No, you have to say words. No. Use your words. That's clear to me. <laughs> Use your words. And then what? Rachel kills I don't by, like what is you. it? Mm-hmm. Does, doesn't she like drop stuff on her? I forget how he kill how she kills her. Yeah, she makes the ceiling fall in on her, doesn't the she? The roof okay, or what's... something. Yeah, it's the something like that. The roof was on fire. Yep. Yes. We let that motherfucker burn. And I, f- I, I found it funny to... The she had a like it technically was foreshadowing and plus it was kind of the whole uh, reference of the first one like when she when uh, Sue takes her to the the school at first and she's like do you know what happened here she's like I don't know she set a fire or something so I'm like oh technically mm-hmm. you're not right or you're not she, wrong she did set a fire I mean that's yeah. what everyone would think there was a fire and everybody died it was just a weird tragedy I guess but 
this town, this town has to be right next to the pet cemetery town because the fucking people are so stupid in yeah. this whole area. Like that's what yeah. I get. Mm-hmm. Like this is just wherever these things take place, these are the dumbest people ever. Sorry, Maine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's most likely Maine. <laughs> if it's Stephen with King. his weird Texas football accent <laughs> that the coach had. Yes. Yeah. Oh. And then Rachel does the stupid thing of where she's yelling at Jesse, mad at him, saying that what he used her and blah blah this and blah blah that, and then what? No, I you love see you. The, what she t- he tells her he loves her, and she's like, "You're lying to me." And then she sees what the the video of him saying it over and, yeah. over and over and <laughs> over. How the fuck is she able to rewind? And zoom in on the fucking scene in, hey, on the she's tape. She's exploding bitches' eyeballs. Okay, she does the, what she wants with these powers. The okay? rewinding I can get, okay? But how is this bitch zooming in on the frame? All right? Like, but I guess yeah, you can was, explode yeah. eyeballs. And I don't, fuck, man. Like, <laughs> I love this movie. Thought, it's so bad. The weird thing I, hold on. The weird thing that I thought about that, too, is when she sees him saying, I love you. How the fuck did they get into the house and do almost the same shot that the crew who filmed the movie took? I don't get how they got that. I know I just because it made they, it seem like they were yeah. filming from outside the window. Well, no, I I, yeah. I just kind of like thought that they probably had it on a shelf or something in the room. Like I don't know. I mean, I just kind of assumed that they were going to be sneaky about it some way. Like they just, <laughs> why? If they had a shelf in there, why did they have to like stand outside the window? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> they just like to watch. They really sure. did. They yeah. were watching yeah. Jesse. They really have a thing for they do, Jesse. They, they, were, they like to watch Jesse have sex. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> they like to watch Jesse bone bitches. I don't know. It's a it's it's a real uh, homoerotic thing that they're not addressing. <laughs> There's a whole subtext yeah. for hey, these for these. It could be players, why they're man. so angry. It it, it uh, is. They're they're, uh, they're hiding some passions, and yeah. Jesse's like, guys, I just you love know, is love. Love who you love, people. I'm not into that, guys. But mm-hmm. you know, if you want to watch, so yes. Rachel discovers, oh, yeah, he does actually love me. And then what happens? She drops, what is it, the uh, rest of that roof falls down yeah, on It was her like a balcony her. or something. She Because she un, unhooked it or uh, she took the bolts out or something. Yeah, she took yeah. the bolts out. Because she was going to kill Jesse because she was so mad. <laughs> well, she like, pushes him away. She force pushes him with her telekinesis powers away and ends up getting herself crushed. Yeah, she throws him away after the she sees the the roof falling down because she's learned the power of love, and now yes. must save Jesse. I love that when he goes back over and he's like, "No, stay with me," and she's like, "Get out of here!" And then she she throws him into the pool like the way he flies out. Of the yeah, house is so awesome. <laughs> I know. What if he had just sank? Like, because there was a hole in the like they yeah. she had made mm-hmm. the hole in that tarp. Like thing. he just got like wrapped into yeah, the like tarp he just, thing. He could have died. Like yeah. He just died. Like he's like, damn it. like she was just. It and was then, pointless. Like, and then it shows him. him a year later with his horribly disfigured arm. <laughs> And with Walter. Walter and the weird sticker that said Infinity's End while he's, you know, Infinity himself in the mirror, in the mirror, in the mirror thing mm-hmm. that they did that weird shot at the yeah. end. I'm like, what is the point of this? The what weird this cry shot to? where he's just yeah. staring longingly crying into the mirror. I'm like, I mean, are we like, just supposed to be sad? Like at what? This point? Like what are they? What are they? What message are they trying to get across at the end here? Like I don't, I don't get how they're wrapping this up. Like, I know. There's just like, no, like we're just uh, supposed to be sad for him at this point. Because he just stares in the mirror after having that weird dream that she was there to fall to pieces in the most the horrible CGI, CGI I've ever seen. Fall to pieces. Yeah. Yes, it's so so great. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. <sighs> It's a it's a movie. It's a movie. I love this movie. I love this movie for all its ridiculousness. <laughs> I saw this movie back in 1999 when I was just a little Angie, and I still love it today. It's gross. Don't get me wrong. These dudes are gross, and they deserve to die, and they do die sometimes in really cool ways. And that's that's what you got to hang on for. Watch the last 17 minutes on this film <laughs> only. You don't need watch, to see the beginning. Watch the last 25 minutes, and this movie will make sense. Just know that yeah. Rachel's friend killed herself. And then watch the last 25 minutes, and that's all you know. Watch the first five minutes and the last 25. You there you go. Yeah. That's what it is. And then watch these movies with all the other crappy sequels that we've been doing all this month because mm-hmm. these yeah. are these. Ugh, this just, is another one that I'm like. I just realized that we kind of we kind of did two Stephen King stories, but not really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean they're. they're, I mean they are, but they're they're continuations of his original ideas, but they're not and connected any way to the original. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, they're not. It's like if, um, uh, I don't want to shit on anybody, but if it's like somebody produced fan fiction, I feel like this is kind of what the sequels we're getting with these this month anyway. <laughs> this is fan fiction, Carrie? Pretty much. I get that. All right, you guys got what any if, final thoughts? What if they had a dad and the same dad had a girl with a different lady? What if his dad and for just some really reason, likes to fuck church bitches? And for some reason, they're like 22 years apart, but they're half-sisters. I don't know why I'm doing oh, this. No. I don't either. I wanted you to stop. That's the guy that's writing this. <laughs> <laughs> He's pitching it, see? He's like, stop. Stop doing that. <laughs> What's your final thoughts, Paul? If you like Carrie... The first one in 1976. Do not hold this movie against it whatsoever. This movie <laughs> has nothing to do with it. Ignore all the flashback scenes. Like when they come on, just close your eyes and pretend yep. it's not there. Pretend it's not there. Because I really feel like this movie would have been better as its own movie the way they originally wanted. I don't know what the original story is, but you can definitely see how they kind of just squeezed in the carry into this movie to make it a sequel. And like, I mean, I, I, forced is what I should say forced the carry into this fucking movie because yeah this movie would have been better on its own I mean I, I would be curious to know what the original story um, what they wanted to do with it but it definitely got bastardized and I'm sure just like you know Rachel so yeah this this movie is not good but it's it's fun it's it's a fun time just watch it know that it has nothing to do with the first except for one person basically and Ralph, who we never get to meet. I want to meet Ralph. Let's love a movie about Ralph. <laughs> Happy birthday, Stephen King. Give us Ralph. That's all I want. Um, yes. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it for me. It's it's a movie. It's all. I don't know if I can add on more to more what you said. I kind of feel a lot in the same ways you did. I am interested to see what the original direction for this movie was before they realized, oh shit, it's too close to carry, and then trying to figure, okay, we can just make it a carry sequel. Because we accidentally did it, but other than that, this movie reeks of late nineties. So if you can get past that, it's it's a movie. It has what the last twenty five minutes are probably the only good things about the movie, because you finally get to see the deaths of some of these characters whose deaths are very deserving. But other than that, it the movie is what it was. Um, it's not the greatest. It's not the worst. It's what we're doing. It's shit pulls. Yep. But, but yeah, that's that's pretty much all I got. There's nothing more that I feel like I can say. <laughs> we said a lot about this movie. We're gonna say a lot next week too, because next week is our final shit sequel episode, and that will be the Blair Witch Two, Book of Shadows. <sighs> it's a first time oh. watch for me, so this might be interesting. Oh, not for me. Little Angie loved this one too, and I will defend it to my death. <laughs> Oh, so I know it's, it's bad good. then. Next week is going to be interesting because uh, I'm I'm going to say it here and I'll probably say it again on next week, but this is one of the few movies where I left the movie hating it. I'm like, that's okay, Saul. What the fuck? Yeah. You know what? You're going to have to watch it again for next week's episode. <laughs> I don't want to. That's the thing. I watch Jack Frost, uh, oh. fuckers. We're watching this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I hated this movie. Which, okay, but, Saul, oh, the, you've seen both, Saul. Which is worse? Blair Witch 2 or Jack Frost? Blair Witch 2. Ah. <laughs> well, we'll see next see, week. Like I, like, I, oh. like I said, this is one of the movies that I left the theater pissed off at and i wanted my money back but i didn't go ask for my money back <laughs> but yeah it, next next week's gonna be is gonna be interesting be interesting so you can check us out on facebook twitter and instagram you can support us on patreon by going to patreon.com backslash scary nerd if you have any comments questions concerns or want some free stickers feel free to email us at podcast at scary nerd.com head over to scary nerd.com for more horror entertainment news and don't forget to like subscribe all that fun stuff tell all your friends how amazing our podcast is is we love hearing from you guys so rate us shout outs whatever you want email us and we will see you next week anything else guys no good bad or otherwise with Blair Witch 2 at least it's not a Rob Zombie movie oh good night everybody oh. <laughs>